Well, we begin this noon with a family's worst nightmare, a dog attacking and killing a four-year-old boy. The family sharing these photos of the little boy whose life was taken too soon. 7 Action News reporter Ali Hoxie spoke with neighbors who say they're heartbroken for the family. These are photos of four-year-old Benjamin. The family sent us these photos along with a statement reading in part, this has taken an unimaginable toll on our family, friends, and those who knew our sweet boy. A kind gesture to help a friend in a time of need for a dog that was said to have never shown aggressive behaviors has turned into a horrifying loss for our family. Absolutely devastating. Tracy Johns lives a few doors down from the home where it happened, prompting her to leave this precious sign outside the front door with what she calls little sayings that mean so much to her. Little angel, prayers, love, rest in peace. It was around 645 last night when police say a 14 year old girl inside the home called 911. She told dispatch her mother was trying to stop the dog from attacking her four year old brother. Police say at one point the mother of the child used a knife on the dog to attempt and stop the attack. When officers arrived, they had to tase the dog. A cartridge sits outside the house. The dog let go of its grip and ran out of the home. The boy was rushed to the hospital with injuries to his body and neck. He was pronounced dead a short time later. I am really feel sorry for the family and I just, like I say, I'm heartbroken. It's just, it's so sad. Police say the 60 pound pit bull ran away from the house after being tased. The dog was eventually found a couple blocks away. It was taken to a vet and euthanized. I have a four year old grandson and I'm just about ready to bust in tears. It's so sad. Police say they still don't understand why the dog went on the attack. That's something they hope to learn as they continue their investigation. Reporting in Hazel Park, Allie Hoxie, 7 Action News.